breath practice? Coach ran us till we dropped. You think that a guy that was a prisoner of war for three years would show a little more compassion? Well, you can't blame the man for being frustrated. After all, you did lose six games in a row. Hey, we were doing fine until Guillermo's father got transferred back to Argentina. <laughs> Where's Dad? In the den with your brother. <laughs> oh, yeah? What the little goof do now? Your new watch. Your watch that cost me $24.95. The watch you couldn't live another day without. Lasted exactly three days. Well, actually, it's only been two days. In that case, I'm looking forward to even a better story. Nah, all I got is the truth. But I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> See, we were playing baseball, and I was two for three. But we were playing baseball, and I didn't want my watch to get broke or nothing, so I put it in my coat pocket. Well... At the bottom of the third, Spencer had to go home, and we were using his jacket for second. Uh, I was the only guy with another jacket, so... So you used your jacket for second base. We had to. I mean, I was already using my book bag for first. And then I forgot all about the watch until Ricky Coleman slid into second. One slide did not cause all this damage. Nah, it didn't get real bad until Duffy tried to fix it. Duffy? Duffy Guthrie? Why would you ask someone to fix it who couldn't make a jelly sandwich without an instruction booklet. I was kind of desperate. And he did do a pretty good report on Thomas Edison. I tried so hard this time. Well, I know it isn't all your fault. It was an accident. But lately, you've had more accidents than Wile E. Coyote. But, Dad, Ricky Coleman never would have made it to second if I had a pair of Earth Angels. Dad, they're so cool. All the pros wear them because you just fly. I mean, you just fly. I, I don't believe what I'm hearing. You don't take care of your possessions. You're irresponsible. And I'm going to buy you a pair of $53 gym shoes. You are? Oh, gee, thanks, Dad. Oliver Cleaver, you are not going to get those gym shoes or even a picture of them. Nothing. Until you become more responsible. Is that clear? Yes, sir. go real bad you call me by my last name and everything just for a watch oh you better hope dad never finds his fishing pole <laughs> you know something kip dad's right i got no responsibility no wonder why everybody's always calling me little goof come on ollie little goof's just sort of like a nickname no, beaver is a nickname. Little goof means just what it sounds like. I'm tired of everybody always making fun of me. I'm going to show you and Dad and Mr. Hanslick and the whole world how responsible I can be. Ollie, who's Mr. Hanslick? Oh, well, see, he's the guy whose iguana I was supposed to feed while he was away in Europe. <laughs> what a little goof. You'll see. Good morning, Oliver. Good morning, Grandma. What's that you're doing? I'm making the beds. Well, that's what I thought. <laughs> Your hair's damp. Did you have a shower? Two. I still didn't smell so good off the first one. <laughs> Did you hear that, boy? Here we go. Open up. Who loves his nanas? That's a good boy. Mom? Yeah? Do you know where the key for this is? Oh, sure. It's either in the junk drawer in the kitchen, the junk drawer in my room, or the junk drawer in our old apartment on Rose Avenue. I hope it's not there. I really need it. See, we're buying Miss Camfield a real nice present because they're making her principal, and I'm in charge of the money. Well, honey, that's wonderful. What are you going to get her? Well, we wanted to get her a wig, but we're probably going to end up buying her a briefcase. <laughs> Morning. Hi. Uncle Wally ready to hit the road? Oh, going running? Yeah, well, the coach said we were buckets of slime that just got winded by putting on our pants. So I figured I'd do a little extra road work, and Uncle Wally said it'd be more fun to run with somebody. Really? 
Never asked me to go with him. Hey, Kip. Ready to roll? All set. All right. And uh, don't worry, I'll slow down in those hills for you. <laughs> uh, thanks. I appreciate that. Who loves these nanas? <laughs> oh, uh, honey, would you mind running an iron over these for me? Anything for you, sweetheart. You're the greatest. <laughs> you just go out jogging with a member of your family you really care about. Um, Mary Ellen, did you want to go jogging? Oh, me? No. Oh, I get all the exercise I need. Ironing your pants, scrubbing the toilets, running up and down the stairs all day. Hey, honey, uh, well, I guess I just really never thought about it. Well, I mean, first there was that fall you took at the supermarket. And then there was a baby. Look, I could wear another pair of pants today. <laughs> hey, you want to go a couple extra miles? I wish I could, but... Grandma talked me into helping Ollie clean out the garage. Why, that little guy's been a regular ball of fire lately. You should have seen the job he did, shampooing our carpets. You no, know, Ollie, I never thought I'd hear anybody ask me, why can't you be more like your brother? <laughs> well, I never had that problem with your father. He's always been so, uh... Well, you know, he's the beaver. <laughs> Come on, let's pick up the paper. Hi, champ. Hi, Dad. What are you doing? Well, I finished weather stripping the windows, so I thought I'd take all the shirts from the bottom of the pile and put them on the top of the pile so they don't get wrinkled like a bag lady's face. <laughs> Want to see my underwear drawer? Impressive. You know, you've really been a big help around here lately, keeping your room clean and helping in the kitchen. And I still don't know how you got those scratches out of the coffee table. Oh, well, just a little elbow grease and a dab of toothpaste. Well, you've really been showing a lot more responsibility lately. And that's why I think you deserve these. Earth angels! Earth angels! Dad, you know what these are? They're earth angels! Oh, Dad. Shoo me do Shoo do 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 I'll take such good care of these things. I'm only going to wear them to school one day a week, and I won't play in the wet grass, and I'll even figure out a way so my feet don't sweat. And I won't... Hey. Oh, you probably want me to leave. Oh, no, no, Kip. Dad's not hollering at me. He just got me a pair of Earth Angels. Really? Oh, cool. What'd you get me, Dad? <laughs> hey, guy, Ollie. I mean, just let me try them on. What could possibly happen? That's what you said when you talked to me of using my jacket for second base. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've been wandering around. Oh. No tags or nothing. I'm going to take her home and put an ad in the paper. That works real good. My dad runs ads to get dates. <laughs> and listen, Kelly, I can save you a lot of trouble. I know some people who have a dog exactly like that one. Yeah? Who? Tell me. Well, I'd like to, but first, Oliver's got to do me a little favor. <laughs> get it, Jeffy. You're not trying on my shoes. Two dozen. I bet there was a, a big reward, too. See you around. <laughs> Come on, Ollie. He tries on your shoes, the dog gets home, I collect the reward money, and everybody's happy. <laughs> I like the way you think. Well, I guess. Just as long as you turn your socks inside out so they're clean. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Quiet, boy. Are your hands clean? Well, Miss Hopper, I certainly am glad we decided to have this little interview out here. It's so much more personal than a typing test. <laughs> I 
Cinderella? Shut up, Duffy. <laughs> Molly, you just got to tell your dad the truth. Come on, Kelly. If you were an adult, would you believe this story? <laughs> hey, what are we worried about? Duffy knows where the dog lives. I bet he took the shoe home. Right. So where's he live, Duffy? Uh, well, actually, I never said I knew where that dog lives. I said I knew people who had a dog exactly like that one. <laughs> You. Now it's my turn. Wait, 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 Sure it is. Heck, that's longer than my parents knew each other before they got married. Wow. Kelly, you shouldn't even be touching this money. I mean, you're elected official. That's elected. And just take the money. Well, I guess anything's better than having another talk in the den with my dad. Great! Now what do you say you let me try on the other shoe? <laughs> Runner's Digest, the XL2 doesn't give enough arch support for the serious runner. Oh, so now you're a serious runner, huh? Oh, <laughs> you don't think I'm serious? Do you know how much I need for this stopwatch? Oh, forgive me for doubting your commitment. Oh, honey, we're going right by the luggage shop. Do you want me to stop by and get Miss Canfield's briefcase? No. I mean, thanks, but some of the boys are pushing for a stun gun, so we still might change our mind. Oh, I sure have changed. I remember when I was your age. We got our teacher scented coat hangers. <laughs> Listen for the baby, okay? Hey. Hi. Bye. Any luck? Well, Freddie said he'd be happy to loan Ollie the money. Thank heaven. If we get Grandma to put up her house as collateral. <laughs> There's only one day left. Why do I have to go rescue that dog? Why do I have to lend Ollie that money? Because you're a cleaver, and, and that's how we are. We're giving. We're caring. We're idiots. Excuse me, sir. I'm Oliver Cleaver. We already sponsor a baseball team. Well, I know. The Wildcats. We wiped up the field with them. I'm here about a loan. What sort of a loan? Car, boats, or perhaps a, a Hawaiian dream vacation for you and the missus? Gosh, no, mister. I'm not married. I just want some money. Oh, well, sit down, Mr. Cleaver. Tell me, how much money are you interested in borrowing? Oh, just a hundred bucks. I only need fifty, but I figured, what the heck? Do you know how a bank works? Sure. You take the farmer's land away and sell it, and that's where you get the money for the calendars and the loans, stuff like that, right? Pretty much. You take this application and bring it back when you've completed it. Thanks anyways, but I came and got one yesterday. Lucky for me. I hope it's neat enough for you. First I did it in pencil, then I went over it in pen. And then when I got finished, I let my friend Duffy check it over. He's a rat. But he can spell pretty good. Well, you and Duffy have done a lovely job. But on the basis of this application, I can't approve it. Now, you take this calendar and go home. <laughs> but, mister, you don't understand. I just got to have that money. You realize what would happen if I gave money to everybody that came in here and asked for it? Yeah, people would really like you. It's out of the question. <laughs> Gee, mister, don't you think I'd pay you back? I would, honest. Cross my heart, hope to die, stick a needle in my eye. <laughs> Shoot! Okay, I'll leave. But just wait till the next time we play the Wildcats. <laughs> <laughs>
guy with a rock in his shoe. Oh, come on. No excuses. I'd beat you fair and square. Uh. <laughs> I know that you put that in there on purpose. Well, it doesn't matter. I think you're doing great. I can't believe the progress you're making. Really? I wasn't even sure you wanted me tagging along. What makes you think that? Oh, little things like the second day when you ditched me at the underpass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm proud of you for hanging in there. <laughs> mm. shoes than I do. Nobody's got more shoes than you do. <laughs> shoo be doo uh. Shoo be doo Shoo be doo Doo uh. Hi, Beaver. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Wally. Hi. Why has three legs and lies like a rug? <laughs> Oliver? <laughs> Well, look, I don't think you can really blame Oliver for all of this. He did have a little help from a four-legged bandit. But, uh, where'd he get the money? Why didn't he say anything? I found the shoe. You find the answer. Well, there must be a uh, logical explanation for this. You got any? Don't ask me. This is the kind of thing I just turned over to your father. Oliver, don't you look nice? Oh, this? Well, I found myself growing and I just wanted to see if it still fit. <laughs> Oliver, you've been gone for hours in your best clothes. Now, do you expect us to believe that? Not anymore. <laughs> well, where have you been? I was down at the bank. Well, what were you doing there? The same thing I'm going to do right now. Try and borrow $50. Why on earth would you need $50? Well, uh, it's not for me. It's for poor old Kelly. She sort of lost some money for Miss Canfield's goodbye present. And uh, she trusted someone she shouldn't have. Why doesn't she just go tell her parents? I guess on account of they find out what she did. And there's nothing worse than the way your parents look at you when they find out that you're not the neat kid they think you are. You're just a little goof. I hope next time Kelly finds herself in a similar situation, she'll put a little more faith in her folks. She'd be very surprised at how understanding they are. Does that mean you'll give me the money to give to Kelly? Well, do you think Kelly learned anything from this? Oh, yeah, she wised up real good. You might want to be a little more careful with these. You wouldn't want to lose one. Oh, right, Dad. I wouldn't want to lose one. <laughs> Not the way Dad would have handled it, huh? I think you're doing just fine, Beaver. garbage. Face it, Ollie. Dad knew all along about those bogus earth angels. Well, if he knew, why didn't he chew me out or nothing? Well, sometimes grown-ups act like they don't know what's going on. But they make sure that you know that they know. Just so you don't think you're getting away with anything. Boy, and I thought teachers were sneaky. <laughs> hey, get your grungy robe off my bed. Big deal. 
What happened to the new, improved Oliver Cleaver? Well, seeing how I got in just as big a mess being responsible, I may as well go back to being a slob. Because it sure is a lot more fun. <laughs> Remember, every Sunday at 6.30 Eastern and every Monday at 6.05 Eastern, it's the comedy hit of the season. Tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern, be adventurous with National Geographic Explorer. But first, Kirk Douglas is after an outlaw. That's why he's waiting for The Last Train from Gun Hill. Next on the Superstation.